kind of the start and then their shooting. I thought they, um, it's the second time that we've had somebody come in and, and, and shoot it like that this year. And um, hard to absorb 10 for 17 from three. Some of them were, were tough shots. Um, but Basket must have looked big to them tonight because they, they, they made them. And um, I thought our guys uh, gave a, a terrific effort there to get back in the game and get it back to one possession late, but um, it was a little bit too too late at that point. Um, but I, I thought that um, you know just got to give Georgia credit they they were they were prepared and, and desperate and um, um, and they played like a more desperate team. So uh, you have to you have to give them credit for that. We we told our team we needed to be more desperate than them, uh, but we were. We were not able to get that done. So, um, anyway, um, disappointed. Um, again, I thought our guys played really hard to try to get back in it, and um, and we congratulate Georgia because I thought they played very very well. Why do you think your team needs that desperation right now? Because our we're, we're not our talent isn't such that we're just going to go out talent people. We need to be more desperate than every team we play, and. Um, um, and you know Georgia lost two tough games, and, and two that I'm sure they felt like they could have won both. And uh, but they they got a very very veteran, experienced, seasoned group, and um, uh, and, and that experience showed in this game tonight. Their their experience and their physicality showed in this game tonight. And, and um, um, you know when you weigh 175 and the guy your garden weighs 225 you're, you're just at a disadvantage and and, um, um, and that's not that's not my guy's fault they, they just need some time to grow up and get bigger and stronger but um, um, we can we can play better than we did tonight how, how tough a spot is that for you that you use the zone to good effect to sort of disrupt teams offensive rhythm but when they're making threes like that that's the one thing you don't want to do right yeah and and um, you know every team goes through an ebb and of you know ebbs and flows and and uh, um, and you know we have some guys that aren't playing very well right now and and, and it's tough to tough to absorb but it's not their fault because every guy is not gonna Going to play his best every game. I mean, that's not that's not going to happen. And and so, um, uh, and I think you you really kind of see this. You're seeing it around the country a little bit with with young teams. That it's it, it's a hard season, and and this is a hard point in the season because now you're you're trying to get adjusted to conference play, and and it's difficult. So. Um, these are lessons learned for, for our guys, and and, um, um, and you know we don't have a lot of veteran guys that play a lot, so there's not somebody out there to show them the way, if you will, and so this is sort of learn learn by fire, and and um, um, and our guys are doing you know they're doing the best they can, and they're, they're out there trying as hard as they can. And uh, that's all I can ask him to do. Damien didn't have a lot of impact in the first half, but is he the is he the one guy you have to stick with, even if he's not going well? Well, he, he's the guy that can, you know, he's the difference maker for us. And and um, uh, Georgia did a great job of taking him away the first thirty minutes of the game. So uh, you have to give them a lot of credit for that. And and. Um, um, so it, it's you know it's just a physical physical game and. Um, it, it's it's a physical game, and, and down there where he shoots it, you, you get you get banged a lot, and sometimes they get cold, and sometimes they don't. And um, you either got to play through the contact or, or have a game that's such that you can get to a shot that um, you can clear yourself, and clear some space, and, and um, uh, so. But you know you have to credit their defense; they did a nice job on him, and and uh, and he didn't have his best night, and. Of course, if he doesn't have a good night, uh, it, it makes it harder for us. And, and the better he plays, the easier it gets for, for our team. And uh, but again, uh, you, 
halfway through a sophomore year, you, you, nobody plays their best every night. You can't expect him to either. Georgia hasn't been real good from three this year, but very good inside the arc. Was that part of the game plan to make them knock down outside shots? Well, we certainly wanted to um, take away the lane from them. And um, um, I'm not sure that we took away the lane. I thought Marcus Thornton was the most impactful player mm -hmm. in the game. And, um, um, but, and they made some terrific shots. Gaines was awesome. And, and, and um, uh, but, but yes, that they're shooting 31.7% from three on the season. And um, they come in here and go 10 for 17. So uh, they did what they had to do. We, we tried to close up the lane and they took advantage of it in, in some instances. Something just didn't look right in the first half. You guys were missing shots that you might hit and missing them badly at times. What was it that they did that just made you guys uncomfortable, or was it just not? Yeah, they, were, they were taking some things away. They were making things hard for Damian and Riley, and we had some other guys not react very well. And, and um, um, you know, why wouldn't you make things out hard for Damian and Riley? There are two leading scorers, uh, you know, just um, – James has been a little banged up with a, with a hip injury and, and hasn't been his normal self the last couple of games. And that hurts because he's, he's a guy that can get us some. And, um, so, um, you know, I mean, we don't, we don't have a tremendous margin for error. We, we, we're, not, we're not that team. And, and a lot of things have to, have to go right for us to beat really good teams. And Georgia, despite their 0-2 start, is a really good team. And, and um, uh, so we just got to figure out how to, how to get better and, and uh, how to alleviate some of the things that people are doing to, um, to defend us well and take things away from us. And, and, um, but it's, um, it's a, a little bit frustrating because um, some things that we could do are just basic they're just basic basketball instinct movements passing and and uh, and we're having trouble with some of those and and that's that that's disappointing because we're not talking about I'm not even talking about freshmen right now so so we, we've got to, to work on some some basic fundamentals to help some of these guys um, understand how to be better players last one is there value in in the finish and making it close do you you carry some sort of positive momentum out of this game? Well, we'll certainly learn some things from this. I mean, we took an awfully poor shot with 16 seconds to play and down four. And, you know, at that point, you're, you're trying to get the game back to one possession. So you need to drive it at the goal and Darren foul you and lay up if you can. And, you know, we take an off balance, terrible shot. And um, uh, so uh, we work on situations every day. And, and maybe I just haven't done a good enough job of explaining that. But that's not. Um, uh, that, that's really the only complaint that I have for what we did at the end from an offensive standpoint. Uh, but that was a big one because we, you know, you don't have any margin for error, like I said before, at that point in the game. And um, uh, we made a just a poor decision to take a, a really bad shot. But, um, uh, you know, hopefully we can we can build on this. But, um, you know, we don't, we're not going to take any, any, any comfort and satisfaction in losing because um, this is our home court and we expect to win here. And, and um, I, like I said, I just thought Georgia came in and they were more on edge than we were. And, and um, um, that's, that was the difference in the game. Thank you. Thanks.